My name's Christopher Bryan. I'm the Archdeacon of Malmesbury. About a year ago, my son Jonathan decided he'd like to climb a mountain. He's a wheelchair user, so we did a bit of research and found somewhere that looked promising. When we arrived at Pennyfan, we started pushing, but we soon found that the path was very rutted and full of stones. Jonathan, who found this incredibly funny, enjoyed it immensely as we pushed and pulled and lifted him and his wheelchair very slowly up this high mountain. The things which got us through were regular stops for chocolate, the kindness of strangers and the fact that we could see, using our phones, where we were. When you're in a challenging situation, knowing where exactly you are can be very helpful. In the past few weeks, the church has heard these stories of how Jesus appeared at Easter to his disciples. He had died, but then he rose from the dead and appeared many times to them. This week, on Thursday, we celebrate Ascension Day, when Jesus ascends back into heaven to be with God. And before he goes, Jesus tells his disciples, Do not worry, I will not leave you like orphans. I will come to you again. And that is where we are. Christians are waiting. Waiting for Jesus to come back. Waiting for this broken world to be made new. To be made whole and healed again. But we do not just wait, sit back and do nothing. We help to bring God's kingdom in. We serve those around us. Jesus promised that he would send his Holy Spirit to fill everyone with his power and give us that strength to do the, those things that God wants us to do. And so, today, as we look to Ascension Day and then the coming of God's Spirit, I wonder where you can see the Spirit at work in your life. Where are the opportunities to serve those around you? How can we watch and wait for a better world? Amen.